Exercises during paresis are difficult and extremely important to get correct. Therefore, we highly recommend that if you do not already see a specialist facial therapist, you ask your doctor to refer you to one urgently. We all smile differently. It may be useful to look at photographs of you smiling before you had your facial palsy to see what was normal for you, as there can be a strong tendency to overdo it rather than be gentle. Step 1. In relearning to smile, place your fingers in the hollow of your cheek underneath the cheekbone on the unaffected side. Step 2. Smile gently on the unaffected side only. Step 3. As you do this, pay attention to which muscle you can feel moving. Sometimes we find people clench their jaw and it's really important to keep your jaw relaxed while you are doing this exercise. Step 4. After each smile, it's important to completely relax your face. The main smile muscle sits in the hollow under your cheekbone. This is the green muscle shown in the picture. As you smile, the muscle moves towards the ear, as shown by the arrow. Touching the muscle as you smile can help you identify its activity better. It's important to know where the muscle is and how it feels before you can even begin to try relearning your smile on the affected side. Once you feel you have identified the smile muscle on the unaffected side and have felt how it moves, then, and only then, you can try to copy this movement on the other side. To help you do this, you can try touching or stroking the smile muscle on the affected side. Remember to check your jaw is relaxed as you practice. The effort used in your smile should be no more than 2 or 3 out of 10. Although this may seem like a tiny exercise, facial movements normally are effortless, so this really is the correct way to practice. After each smile, remember to completely relax your face before trying again. Once you feel you have found that smile muscle on the affected side, you can have a go at putting both sides together. This is all about practicing a small, symmetrical movement. The smile must start at the same time on each side, move the same amount on each side, end at the same point on each side, and then relax down at the same time on each side. Remember, you should just be feeling the smile muscle in your cheek and the jaw should be relaxed. After each smile, completely relax your face before trying the balanced smile again. There may be just a flicker of movement initially, and that's absolutely fine. Movement should never be pushed too hard. The most important thing is that it is balanced and equal on both sides. In the early stages, the smile muscle will get tired extremely easily, so you should stop if you are finding you lose concentration, the movement feels unbalanced, or you are tensing the jaw or other muscles. It's important to practice little and often, perhaps five repetitions carried out five times a day. You may find it helpful to bring to mind a memory or thought that makes you happy or something that is mildly amusing as you are practicing your smile, as emotional input makes smile training even better. Try to remember to use your balanced smile when you meet people throughout the day. This won't come naturally at first, but the more you use it, the more naturally it will come. Don't be afraid of using your smile. It's important to smile when you feel happy. Sometimes you may feel you need to hold down the strong side during the day if it's tending to overwork, just to make sure your face stays balanced as much as possible.